I'm Lynn. And I'm Jonathan. And we are Creating Create Capture, Capture Life. Life. Oh, all right, that was not too bad. <laughs> this is week 12, and we are both tired. And I. We also haven't seen each other no. since. What is today? Today is Wednesday night. We haven't seen each other since last Saturday. Saturday, yep. So Sunday, early morning Sunday, I flew out to Chicago to, uh, to do an event uh, opening the world's largest Starbucks, which is down on uh, um, Michigan. Michigan Avenue in, in Chicago. So uh, if you guys are down in Chicago, go check it out. It's actually really cool. It's a five-story Starbucks. <laughs> and it's, it's really got... Cool. <laughs> I'll tell you that one in a second. But uh, no, it's really... Uh, uh, it's five stories. It's a uh, its own roastery. So they're roasting their own beans there. They've got a full bar. They've got food. It's really cool. Go check it out. So, but if you're ever in Chicago, if you're ever in Chicago on Michigan Avenue and you need Starbucks, hey, go check it out. You can't miss not? it. It's like five floors. Yeah. So, uh, Lynn has always told me about Chicago weather, uh, and I got a chance to experience it firsthand. For those of you guys that uh, keep up with weather, this was record snowfall and record lows for this specific time of uh, year in Chicago, uh, the the couple of days that I was there. So one of the days it was like eight degrees or something like that, 10 degrees uh, overnight. Still jealous. And uh, something I had never known before, uh, this thing called wind chill. Um, you can all, you know, I tried for years now yep. to explain what wind chill, what a true wind chill factor is to him. Yep. Now he understands. Totally get it now. The Southern California kid did not not know what he was getting into, but <laughs> I survived and I'm uh, a better person for it. <laughs> and then I have been, he came home today from the airport and I couldn't pick him up because I was at Disneyland working today. We're filming the Christmas special, which is going to be aired on Christmas Day. Um, it jockeys between Disneyland here and the Magic Kingdom. In Florida and so we were filming that today and then I'll be doing that again tomorrow so tomorrow this is our only chance to film this because tomorrow he's working a day shift at Disney and I'm working a late afternoon into the middle of the night shift tomorrow so so we're filming this on Wednesday we normally film on Thursdays but uh, but I need to get this edited so I can work tomorrow without worrying about it so we want to make sure you guys have uh, videos on Fridays like we always uh, try to get out so and sometimes it's hard yeah <laughs> when we're not together yeah so first of all I want to start off with last week thank you guys for all your sweet um, comments and advice on my PTSD journey and our journey together all of your comments um, and everything are very welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to watch and taking the time to comment I really appreciate it so I just want to say that. Thank you for that. And we had um, uh, we had someone else uh, mention uh, something last week that we didn't get a chance to bring up. Uh, Debbie, one of my friends from work, asked. She watches our videos all the time, and she wanted a uh, quick health update. Like, how's your head injury, brain, whatever, M like MS thing? How's how's that? There's going? no update. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this short. There's no update. I'm yeah. waiting for insurance to approve a neurosurgeon and a neurologist for two different things that they found during my brain and neck MRIs. So there's no update, just dealing with it. Um, I went to work today. My right side is still tingly and feeling like it's asleep and just dealing with it. So yeah, so really new update, but good news. Um, we were able to change our health insurance just recently. So in January, we start with a much better insurance that gives us the freedom that she can go and pick whatever doctors she wants. So to we're pick. going from an HMO to a PPO yeah. and yeah, it's going to cost us more, but the <clears throat> level of care will be better. And we've decided and discovered, um, that HMOs are great when you're not sick, but when you really have something wrong with you. HMOs are not the way to go because they stand in the way of your health care yep. and um, decline you seeing doctors that your doctors think you should see. And yeah. so a PPO, we can go where we need to go or where we want to go. So yeah. <coughs> so that's the update. That's the non-update update. <laughs> that's actually good. The non-update update. I like so that. thank you for yeah. um, asking, though. Uh, if anything changes, we'll be sure to let you know. So as you've probably seen from the headline of this video this is we hear a lot of things from people about why we should not rv or why it won't work 
And so these are the top eight reasons based on other people's opinions of why we should not RV full time. And Jonathan hasn't seen these yet. And um, because we, like I said, we haven't seen each other. So. Yeah, she likes to surprise me on these because she likes to get that uh, reaction shot. <laughs> I don't want him to be rehearsed. But honestly, this week we haven't seen each other. And yeah. so I've just been compiling these while he's been out of town. And, um, and then purposefully, a couple of them I didn't tell him because I want to see if he has the same reaction I did when I read them. <laughs> so these are the top eight. Look at that shadow. Eight reasons why we should not RV full-time. Number one. See, now I can't read it because I don't have the right glasses on. Number one. We getting, have, getting old sucks. We, I'm wearing the wrong glasses. We have too many animals to live in an RV. <laughs> Speaking of the animals. I bet you anything it was a shady trash bag that just <laughs> rolled by. This is a shady leaf out there or something. It's a shady leaf. It's something. <laughs> something very critical. Whoever whoever commented that, you're not wrong. <laughs> I almost you know what? Crystal, if you watch our videos, why didn't you tell me about the dog adoptions yesterday? I missed them. I could have went and seen the dog adoptions yesterday. I saw the cats today, but we have four cats. But I would have ended up with another dog. Um, so we have six animals currently. Pixel is a um, one of our dogs. Terrier, Beagle, we Chihuahua. Know. No, Beagle, Be Beagle we need Terrier, Weenie Dog Mix. Um, Flash is Chihuahua, Beagle, we need terrier, a terrier, terrier yeah, mix. Know. They're brother and sister from the same litter. Uh, two different dads. Two different dads. Go check them out. Little po I'll post pictures. Yeah. Like, um, well, obviously you've already seen the pictures yeah. while we're talking. I'm posting the pictures. Yeah. But they have their own Instagram page too, so you should go follow them because yeah. they're adorable. At Pixel and the Flash. Yep. And then we have four cats. We didn't plan yeah. on having four cats, but. My oldest son, Ryan, showed up with Shadow, who is the black and white cat that's constantly going behind us on the counter. Um, that's Shadow, she's the OG of the cats in this house. And then we got Whiskey as a kitten. We got Shadow when she was about eight weeks old. She was found abandoned by her mom under a bush somewhere, and so Ryan ended up bringing her home. That was the first cat. And then our neighbor found Whiskey just my daughter's cat, but my daughter doesn't live here now, so now it's our cat. Because um, she didn't take whiskey with her when she moved. Was rescued out of the engine of someone's car trying to stay warm. And she was about six weeks old when we got her. So um, that's whiskey. And then Shadow got a, had a little outside hookup adventure last year and came home pregnant and had two kittens she had four kittens but only two survived because she's an older cat and um we kept them so that we have spot and rebel so yeah we have four cats and two dogs and um we have a squirrel that comes and eats on our patio every day that my son feeds also but he's not coming with us so nope. <laughs> yes we do have a lot of animals but it's not too many for the rv we nope. already have it all figured out where they're gonna go so yep and we're not leaving any of them behind. no man gets left behind in this family <laughs> so they're all coming with us um so and that, no just we joke around about it but no it's actually not a problem i'm totally okay with it i'm used to all of them the cats hate me the dogs <laughs> love me that's fine that's all that matters <laughs> the cats don't go anywhere near jonathan well shadow does the shadow does the um, rest of the cats don't go anywhere near jonathan so it's gonna be funny to see what they do in a smaller me with jonathan's in it because usually if i'm downstairs they run upstairs and if i'm upstairs they run downstairs on a very rare occasion rebel who is the little rebel of the group uh she'll come and jump on the bed but the second i turn around or something like that and she makes eye contact with me she bolts yeah so, so it'll be so, funny to see when uh we're living in like you know uh, 188 square feet what uh what yeah. the cats do so that's the answer to that that's our answer to that for your telling us we have too many animals to rv full-time yep all right number, number two two 
Look, see if you if you do it close to the camera, it doesn't give you a shadow. Number two, you will not survive financially. I mean, maybe. Who I knows? mean, I mean, we've been in <clears throat> crazy situations in the twelve years we've been together, and we've always overcome, you know, things. And yeah. working together, we can do what we, you know, we can make it work. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, really, money is money, and the way we're planning on doing things with going debt-free and paying everything off and stuff like that, uh, we are both extremely skilled people. We can find a job at a Walmart or a McDonald's to get by <laughs> if we need to. Uber. Yeah. Lyft, Postmates, whatever. Oh, RV Uber. <laughs> so, um... That's an actual concern. I totally yeah. can see that that's a concern. I mean, we've thought about it too, but we'll make it work. Like so many others that live on the road full time, we'll make it work. I mean, the reality is you could buy a house and put yourself into, you know. Be house poor. Being house poor. That's a <laughs> common phrase in California, yeah. being house poor. Yeah, so I mean, anything you do, any change you make, you know, you're opening yourself up to the same possibilities, so. Yeah. You know, our house is just going to be mobile. Right. So. so. Okay. Number three. <laughs> this is a good one. Um, Lynn will miss being girly and will miss... Um, <laughs> and um, I will miss makeup, hair products, and clothes, etc. Or she will become one of those non-feminine full-time RV woman. <laughs> this is why I didn't tell him this one. I use more hair products than she does. <laughs> so you can answer that one. Uh, <laughs> if you guys follow us on, on social media, uh, the other day Lynn posted a, a little story about <laughs> her being out in the garage. Oh, I was in front of the garage. In front of the garage with the hood open and some guy walking up going, excuse me, madam, can I help you? And she said, no. No, I'm that's, good. you're being mean. I wasn't mean. A neighbor of ours was walking his dog and I was looking under the hood of my car. So I was standing there with the hood open in my car and he asked nicely, you know, oh, do you need some help? You know, and I was like, no, it's fine. I'm just checking my fluid levels and um, I need new motor mounts. So I was just checking on that and um, checking my rotors and stuff. And he's like, oh, you know what you're doing. And I go, well, God, I hope so. And he goes, wow, my wife doesn't know the difference between a dipstick and a chopstick. And I was like, I don't know what to say to that. So girly, yep, totally gonna miss that. So, um. She puts more makeup on to do these videos. No, this is like work, this is uh, like the level uh, of, I mean, my, the extent of my makeup at this moment is, Foundation that has been on my face since 4 a.m. Yep. Lip gloss and mascara. Yep. Super girly. Super girly. And, and my go-to. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And when I'm not working, my go-to is to leave here. 90% of my life, I take a shower and leave with wet hair because I don't do anything with my hair. I. Uh, we follow a lot of RV YouTubers, and I have a lot of respect for all of you guys out there. Uh, for whoever this person was that made the comment that said one of the non-feminine RV YouTuber full-time. Mm. First of all, that's an insult to all the women. Yeah, sorry. That that's... are full-time RV women. I don't know what makes you not feminine. And if wearing a t-shirt and jeans makes you not feminine, then I'm right there with you because yeah. that's my go-to outfit every day. Right now I'm wearing a sweatshirt and my pajama bottoms because I'm tired. So. And sh I'm just wearing a black t-shirt and no pants. <laughs> So, I'm not, don't let the, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not yeah. a girly person at all. Yeah, if that's the case, then I don't need a girly girl because I'll take a t-shirt and jeans any day. Yeah, and so, so um, yeah, yep. I, I don't know where that came from. It's obviously somebody who doesn't know me at all, but I'm not going to miss that. I don't. No. No, I'm not going to miss it, so. All right. Um, that's not, and, um, I'm, I'm for, about to get real, really upset about that whole thing. That's, for, not, that's um, not nice at all. all you, and like I, he said, and me too, for all the non-feminine full-time RV women out there, rock on. Yeah. <laughs> because that's just rude. 
That was just rude. Um, number four, you will get sick of each other in such a small space. Yep. Probably. Yeah. But guess what? I got this little thing on my finger that says I ain't going anywhere. And, well, she doesn't wear hers, but wait a minute. It's a long story. Don't go there. It's a big, long story. That's what happens when you have a metal allergy and uh, and your finger starts to fall off when you wear <laughs> your wedding ring. So it's okay. We've got uh, workarounds. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we could get sick of each other. They're, you know, we get sick of each other now every once in a while. It happens. I mean, that's marriage, right? There yeah. are days when you're like, oh, God. <clears throat> and then, you know, that's life. That yeah. has nothing to do with living in an RV. And that's why we'll have a Jeep and I'll go to the grocery store. Or vice versa. <laughs> you're not going to the grocery store. I always go to the grocery store. You're not girly enough. <laughs> oh, God. Stupid. Rude. That's one of those, that's toxic masculinity right oh, there. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, it could happen. Liter I mean, let me be, let's be more, a little more serious. Yeah. At least address the question. You can get sick of each other in, in a big space. Yeah. You can have fights and disagreements or whatever and <clears throat> live in a, you know, a 5,000 square foot house, which we don't, but you could. Either you get along or you don't, and everyone has good days and bad days. And yeah. and the reality is, I mean, just because we're going into a smaller space and stuff like that doesn't mean that our relationship changes. We, Lynn and I have a pretty solid relationship. We have, in the 12 years that we've known each other, we've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations with all kinds of different stuff, with everything from the PTSD uh, to head injuries, to hospital visits, to your uncle, to yeah, with my uncle passing away, I, all kinds of things. We've dealt with all of it, and we've been by each other's side through the through thick and thin. So, putting ourselves into a tighter situation, I don't think that's going to change. You can always, you know, and if you need a break, you can always go outside. Like he yeah. said, you know, we will have a tow vehicle, and you can, you know, go for a walk, yeah. go for a drive, whatever. I mean. There's plenty of RV couples that make it work, and we can too. Yeah. So, um, Jonathan will get bored. Hang with on. What? All right, number five. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to go. Number Jeez. C, I'm tired. All right, number five. <laughs> um, Jonathan will get bored without having, without having multiple jobs and multiple projects going on every day. Who says I'm not going to? There's always something to fix on an RV, whether you buy it new or used. And I'll still always have stuff to do. I mean, I'll always be working on a hundred different projects. So that's not gonna change. I mean, just be more remote working on a hundred different things, so. The funny thing about that question or that statement is that we've actually talked about this before because I was thinking about that too, that he would get bored. I don't get bored. I'm perfectly happy sitting there staring at the sky. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm just never been the type of person to get bored. He does get bored, but there's always gonna be something to do. Yeah. And when you're out, in the world and out exploring and seeing different things and doing different things and just being in a new place, not even going here and there touristy things, but just being in new places. Yeah. There's plenty to do, so. I'm gonna Maybe. work on my photography game. So, you know, it could happen, but. Yeah. Everything, every, you know, bored is, you can fix it. Yep. Um, Number six. <laughs> Number six. You'll miss your families. Yep. True. Yep. But again, house on wheels. We come back. Very true. Um, we, my hardest thing in this whole journey is going to be um, moving, not living here full time, and my daughter's here full time. Yeah. Um, my brother and sister, nieces and nephews and stuff, I see, we see each other a lot. That'll be tough too, but the worst for me is my daughter, knowing that she, you know if something happens and she's in LA and I'm in another state, but um, we plan on being here part of every year. We're gonna be with our families every holiday season. We've already committed to that, being with our families through um, our birthdays, Thanksgiving and Christmas every year. And so it's not like we're not gonna no. come back every year because yeah. that's the plan. So. And the reality is, we're just a plane, a plane trip away. Lynn can, Lynn can come back if she has to, and then you know I'll drive with Ryan. You know he and I can drive back. 
if you know something did for god forbid happen or something yeah. you know or or not and you know maybe ashlyn just needs some you know some support mom's within a couple hours plane flight right home and i've been trying to get her to go on a mom and daughter trip anyway so there you go you know maybe we'll do that yeah ashlyn if you're watching figure out where you want to go so that was number six number seven reason why we should not rv full-time you have way too much stuff and there's no way you can minimize all that stuff the dumpster is showing up tomorrow <laughs> i can't wait to be done minimalizing um some of these things kind of made me laugh because it's obviously from people who don't really know us yeah Minimalizing is not hard. We live in more space than we need already. And as you can see behind us, our kitchen isn't, we built this kitchen together. Um, I did the tile work, this tile backsplash. We put all this cabinetry, the, all of this that you can Which see, I'm here. pointing right here. There's the, the open shelving, everything. We built this kitchen ourselves yep. and we <clears> built it with less cabinets that it had when we moved in yep. because we don't need all the cabinet space. Um, we don't have, I mean, we have empty drawers and empty closets in this house already. Yeah. Lynn and I aren't, aren't big. So, like our, our stuff, it looks like when you look at the garage and stuff like that. The garage is a, yeah, is a, is a mess. Is, but it's all, the thing about the garage is it's all work. Yeah. It's all things that are well, based on the, the, the companies that we've owned. And also right now, the garage is a mess because we still haven't scheduled a garage sale because we haven't found yeah. a time that we've been able to. But I'd say a good 50% at least of what's in there now. Uh, yeah, is, it's all garage sale. It's, it's all garage sale and then donated after yeah. that. So um, I don't think minimalizing. No. You know, I think it will be adjust an adjustment. The hard thing for us is going to be clothing. Not because we're stuck on having all the clothing, but because we will still be here different parts of the year and we will still yeah. be working here when we are here. We need work clothes. And so I think what we're planning is to take our regular clothes in the RV and keep our work clothes in storage. And then when yeah. we're here and we need our work clothes, we can go get them. Because yeah. I have to wear business casual when I work or we have, depending on who we're working for and what we're doing, we have some jobs you have a production shirt you have to wear. For him, he's got a different company shirt that he has to wear or whatever. Yeah. We'll still have to keep those things. Yeah. There some and he has business casual for certain, you know, when you have meetings with clients and things. So we'll keep those clothes, but they won't be in the RV. No. And then the last. Number eight. eight. Number eight. Reason. The eighth reason why we should never go full-time RVing. There is only so much you can see in the United States, I give it a year. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was the, we should not RV full time because there's only so much to see in the United States and they figure it'll take us a year to see it all. What? <clears throat> <laughs> now granted, we have been on road trips together to 28 states and our dogs have been to those 28 states with us so i think we have to start counting again with the rv right because we oh, didn't yeah, we decide sure, we yeah. have to start, We're over. start over with the rv so yeah. the 28 states we and the dogs have already been to we're going to start over with yeah. the rv but and actually i'm going to ask you guys a, a favor for those of you guys that are uh, rvers do us a favor help me out because we have a little bit of a difference of opinion on this Leave the comment down below and explain to me how you guys decide when the sticker, the state sticker goes on the map. Is I think it, you have to be, I think you have to at least spend the night in the state and that's what we've always said. I think there has to be a little bit more than well, spend the night. A, yeah, I think you have to, RV, maybe. I think you have to spend at least two nights and do some sort of activity. Yeah. That's my thought. Tell us what you think. I, I really would like to know what you guys think or how you guys decide when the sticker goes on the map. Because that's that's yeah, something yeah. that we're that we're Well no, that makes sense with an RV. It should yeah. be longer because you're gonna be there. Yeah. So yeah, that totally that makes yeah. sense to me for yeah. the RV stickers. So let us know what you guys let us know what you guys do. But yeah. uh, seeing everything we wanna see in a year, I don't think we have enough time. I don't wanna go that fast. Well not only that, but does this person really think that in all, well, 49 states, because we can't drive to Alaska yet, 
or not Alaska, can't, Hawaii. Hawaii. We can't drive to Hawaii yet. I'm hoping that that'll be a thing sometime. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've lived in California my adult life, pretty much my adult whole adult life, and I've driven this state from end to end and sideways, and I still haven't seen all of California. No. I mean, we've driven all the major roads in California up and long ways, up and down California, and then yeah. east to west, and we've crisscrossed the entire state. And I many still, times, and, and we still every haven't. time we go on a road trip. This last road trip that we went to Vegas on, and if you guys follow us on Instagram, you saw the pictures. Um, we stop at like um, at Manzanar, which was a uh, Japanese internment camp. Uh, we stopped, I mean, there's all we these hadn't guys. seen. We no. went to the Clown Motel. Yeah, like, that wasn't. No, I don't know. Yeah, it was. But it was when we yeah. were going to Vegas. Yeah. Like, we saw all these new things that, and we've been to Vegas many I, times, but we just took a different route yeah. and we saw a bunch of different things. And there's still more we there's haven't There's always seen. things, yes. If you're thinking of like, you know, all of the major milestones and stuff like that, but even still, like, I don't know. There's people out there that are, and I know some YouTubers out there that are, uh, that they are doing all of the national parks. That's a lot. Doing that. There's over 400. Yeah, those. doing that. That's a huge. Well, even yeah. you did like you couldn't even. How would you even do that? You no. couldn't do one a day, so it would take you at least. Yeah. Three or four years to do that yeah. if you went fast. Yeah, that's crazy. No. So whoever that person is, obviously didn't study geography. Yeah. So I don't agree with that one. Yeah. No. So those are the top eight reasons that other people have given us for why we should not full time RV. You know what? I agree with them. That's it. We're done. We're not doing it. We're I'm over it. You know what? Stop the YouTube channel. We're done. We're not doing this. <laughs> Stupid. Oh my God. Um, so let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, please consider subscribing if you're here. Why not? Just it doesn't hurt you. Just push subscribe. I mean, they don't need to subscribe. We're not doing this anymore. <laughs> you don't even have to watch the rest of our videos. Just subscribe. <laughs> Just for fun. Um, yeah, the, anyway, those are the top eight reasons. For everybody that subscribes. Oh no. I will let one hair grow out. Oh, you're so dumb. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, so that was this week's video. Tell us what you thought in yeah. the comments because I didn't share these with Jonathan before and some of these are... <laughs> They're priceless. Let's um, just, that's, a, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's one word for it. Yeah. Um, I could think of a few others. One, I think a couple of these are insulting to people who RV full time. Absolutely. Um, I'm still not over yeah. that comment. That Some of them are insulting and a couple of them are silly to me. I don't know how you could see the entire United States in a year and actually see it all. No. Um, yeah. Let us know what you think. Those are the top eight reasons. Like we said, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Like this video, please consider subscribing. We are gonna go get some sleep and we will see you next week. Bye.